everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and this is Junk Journal Craft Chat where we're going to be doing some altered paper clips today. We're going to be answering your crafty questions and we're going to be having an ephemera uh, uh, contest and this is for some beautiful calligraphy. This was not won or claimed before so I am going to put it up again for the contest. It is very old, uh, beautiful, it looks like fountain pen. Um, and I think it is a very beautiful piece of history. So if you are interested in winning this prize, then your name will be pulled if it is, uh, if you put a comment in last week's uh, Friday's Junk Journal Craft Chat, uh, that's where I'm pulling the winner from. So if you want to uh, win next week's prize, which will be a very unique piece of ephemera, um, just put a comment in this video. You can comment as many times as you like and uh, even if you won before, you can still comment again. Also, good news, the YouTube random comment picker is now fixed. And we are rolling with the random comment picking. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this the calligraphy page. How about that? We're going to call it the calligraphy page. So if you won the calligraphy page, email me at pam at thepaperoutpost.com and then your name and mailing address. And that on today's date, um, and today is Friday, November 17th, that you won uh, the contest on that day, and then you won the calligraphy paper, and I will mail that off to you. Okay, here we go. Um, so today, I am running low very quickly again with um, uh, altered paper clips, so we're going to make some more of these, and I'm just using the scraps that I have on my desk, and uh, I have a funny note to myself here. I was uh, looking up what happens if your dog gets bitten by a snake, what to do. And um, so I have a friend who's a veterinarian. I also looked it up online and, and basically it's get them to the emergency vet as fast as possible. And they're going to give them some special medicine to help. And you don't have to get the snake. You don't have to um, capture the snake. It's great if you can get a photo of it, but obviously don't waste time getting the photo, putting yourself in danger and um, taking longer to get your animal to the vet. Just go to the vet, go to the emergency vet. It's the best place they, uh, most of them carry the anti-venom there. So there you go. Um, anyway, just a little fun factoid, not that I take Sunny out in the woods, um, but if you do have a dog that you walk in the woods, that's something to think about. I'm just gonna make some bases first of all. And these are very simple. I'm just using the bigger paper clips. Um, I think these are one and seven eighths. Let me see. One, like I would say, yeah, I call it one and seven eighth paper clip. Put the small loop on the inside. Slap a little glue down. This is actually um, 110 pound weight cardstock that I'm using. It was a clipping off a digi kit that I had. So everything goes back into the stew, if you know what I mean. Nothing gets wasted in the craft room and we try and reuse, repurpose. Um, and it is all good. So just a couple quick little bases there. And yeah, kind of like these. I think I might like to use these. Um, Gotta use what's on your desk, right? So I'm working in a botanical journal right now, so maybe I'll make a few botanical altered paper clips because they'll come in handy for this journal. And that's Sunny now warning us that there is a squirrel alert going on. Yes, there is a squirrel outside, everybody, and you all need to know of it because that's what's going down here at this moment. Just hanging out. Hope you, you guys are having good old papery fun today. Maybe you're working on your Christmas presents or um, just having fun with your papers. Just random. Who knows? But I, I'm, I hope it's all good. Uh, all right. Here we go. Just cut these babies apart. I try and set them up on the pages so they're easy to cut out. I think it just makes it easy for all of us concerned. And you can do sharp edges. You can do rounded edges. You can put stickles on them. You can leave them as is. You can layer them with cheesecloth. I think I have a little piece of cheesecloth somewhere sitting around here. Some little piece of something I saw it earlier. Where's my little little piece of cheesecloth? It went somewhere. It's here. Can't have gone. Can't have gone far. Never does. Um, okay. So how many of these do I have? I have two. I think I'm just going to glue that onto the back. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue it onto the back. Probably be better if I glued it onto this first. Okay. There we go. All right, so there's one. Here's two. I think I'm gonna glue it on this side. This is 
probably the better way to do it. That way I know it's the glue is only going where I want, want it and nowhere else. Okay. Um, okay, so I can use this for backings as well. Let me just make a couple out of here. There we go. I might want to use a smaller paper clip for this one. All right, here we go. So if you have smaller bases, use smaller paper clips. They all work. It's all good. Okay, there we go. Let's pop. Oh, okay. put some glue on here. This is Fabrifix glue that I'm using, and we are now gluing it onto here. There we go. So now we have a nice little. We have three little ultra paper clips. Zip zap, and let's see what your questions are so far today. Okay. Uh, hey Pam, did your ears ring recently? We were driving past your town, sort of, and I waved and shouted hello out of the car window. <laughs> That's so sweet. This is Deborah Bovey, by the way. Uh, we were traveling from Tallahassee to Fort Myers. Um, yeah, I bet you did go right by me. And uh, yes, the rain followed us south, and the wind tried to destroy everyone's patio umbrella. But I watched this great video. Happy the stickles are back. They all made all the difference with this project. Thanks. Uh, that, that was a lot of fun. I love whooping out the stickles, too. Um, well, welcome back to Florida, Deborah. Uh, Tammy Broussard asks, what happened to the duck asking for a friend? Huh. She's referring to the using book pages to decorate a junk journal. Easy ideas for the paper crafter, I think. Um, using a book page to decorate a junk journal. What happened to the duck? Oh, I, maybe I was telling the story about how I rescued a duck. Took it to the vet. They wrapped its leg and um, actually he went in there and he put mesh metal around the bones because the leg was fractured like shattered he said i didn't he didn't think it was going to work but the duck made it it was a peking duck and oh okay i think i didn't finish that story okay so the uh, the duck um i did release it back to the wild and i saw it around for a while and then i didn't <laughs> so i'm just hoping in my mind that it had a happy life and it went off and had a family and they just moved to a different neighborhood and all is well. Um, and I'm sticking with that. So there you go. Okay. Um, I'm going to remember to heart these today. Okay. And let's make a few more of these because really I do need these right now. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to do a little work today. Can't all be fun and games. Okay. Why not? Why can't it all be fun and games, Pam? It would be much better if it was all fun and games and there was no seriousness about anything. Nothing wrong with a good round of fun and games. I think it's all good. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so now i got to actually decorate. Let's see, maybe I'll put a little, oh, a little fabric swatch. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay, that's wrong scissors for sure. These are my super um, paper scissors, but they're not really that great on fabric. And I have fabric ones, but they're, oh my god, I might have to lean forward to get them, and apparently that's not going to happen. I wonder if I can fussy cut this out. I never fussy cut out something, I think, out of fabric. I'm now fussy cutting out a fabric thingy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Uh, it's just a pretty little design here. Might be cute on a piece of paper. Not following any rules, just meandering with the, the imagination where it takes me. I go. Um, all right, I'm just going to ruffle up the edges a little bit here to have it look a little more tattered and vintage. Okay, that's good. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, okay. And. <coughs> okay. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. There. I think that's cute. I'm going with it. This is going to be one of those. Yep. A fabric altered paper clip. Very easy to do when you scrap pieces of fabric. If you don't, just sneak into your family's bedroom and swipe a shirt. Yep. That's what you do. Okay. There we go. Don't tell them. <laughs> don't tell them I told you to do that. Um, okay. So next question is... Uh, Patty Figurski asked, Pam, I think you once said that you were in some kind of 
executive position in your career, but I'm not sure, so I have to ask, were you ever an elementary school teacher? I think your gift in life would have been that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, you have the enthusiasm, energy, and the sense of humor that would be perfect for keeping children busy, excited, and interested. Love this project, by the way. It was very inspiring. I am going to try to make some of the pockets tonight. Awesome. That's great. To, I'm so happy to hear that. You're having fun. Um, um, executive position. I guess, I guess the highest position I ever held was um, medical director at a couple of clinics. And... Um, then a university professor, and um, but here we exercise the right side of the brain, which is such an important thing to do. Don't take it lightly. I think it's very important. I love this um, stenciled with coffee dye. Isn't that pretty? That's just so pretty. I'm going to use that. Um, it's very important to use all parts of your brain, I think, and um, continue to use it and keep learning new things. So this is this is me actively learning new things. I don't know if you're kind of. I don't know, I th I, maybe a lot of you agree with the same thing. It's always good to continue learning, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in your career field. Sometimes it's, it's good to learn things that are completely new to you, outside that you're uncomfortable with. Maybe art and maybe craft is one of those things. Maybe you don't normally um, work with paper. That would be crazy. Maybe you have a corporate job and you know everything is very official and da-da-da, lots of rules and pa-pa-pa, you know what I mean. But here, here in the land of paper crafting, we can coffee dye little bits of paper and be very excited about it. And it's a okay. That's right. Um, and this is the land of no rules. We love that. Um, oh, I really like this. I think I want to make a bunch of these now. Okay, just give me one. Um, did I run out of bases? Yeah. Right. right out of. I wonder if I can use. I think I just used these bases before. Why can't we use this? All right, I think we can use this. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's do it. This is some kind of ribbon. Rib I don't know what it is. It's on my desk. You know what I mean? When it's on your desk, you just grab it and use it. Don't give it any reason not to be used. You just say, you're coming with me. We're going to now become a piece of art. It's going to be your best day ever. <laughs> Somebody very famous, dear to heart, says. Um, yeah, it's about... I think I want to do a little collage -y thing on here. Okay, I'm just going to flood this with glue. And I'm going to collage away. Just kind of... I've got a lot of little pieces to use up on my desk. So I'm going to use up these little pieces. Okay, what's this? Nobody knows. We'll just stick it there. Maybe this will go here. This will go here. I might have to trim that. Uh, I'm going to slide it down then. Okay, that's better. And what else we got here? I know there's something. Okay, where did the, there it is, here is the, uh, the hiding cheesecloth. There we go, now we have a nice little weird base, which we can play upon or leave as is, just leave it as is, or go from here and make something else out of it. Let's see, there's my paper clip on that side, and I think maybe I'll just do a stamp on it. We have some kind of solid stamp. Okay, how about this? This is a good one. Here's a maple leaf on a peg stamp. Get some black ink and black soot. Okay. I'm just going to stamp on that. I don't know if it's going to work. It's probably going to look weird because it's, it's a rumply surface. You guys are so far away. Okay. And here. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do. We're just going to do it. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Now we have that. That's kind of cool, right? And you can put more on there. I mean, if you want to, come on, more, more. Oh, wrong end. Wrong end. Silly me. Okay, put partials. Like they're coming off the side. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Now it looks like that. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. Thank you. I concur. <laughs> can't argue with me. <laughs> All right. Well, you could. Yeah, just to just argue over there. Okay. There we go. I'll put some stickles on it or something later. Okay, so let's see what else you're saying. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Pam, Kim Hanback asks, um, in the using book pages to decorate a junk journal video, what kind of paint are you using? Are you doing the little border dots? I'm afraid I couldn't catch it. The nerve deafness, it's hard to understand. 
okay, um, I think I'm going to get some colored staples for stapling my journals. That's a great idea. Uh, honestly, r until right now, I didn't know there was such a thing. I just saw them on Amazon. Could be useful and decorative. I know. They're actually fun, the, the, dec uh, the colored staples. I have some. I just have to remember to use them. Um, okay, so um, here. Here's, here's this way to, I'll show you. Yep. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. i got to find the bucket. Here it is. Okay, Nubo and liquid pearls. Okay, so the little dotty things were two things. One was liquid pearls, and this one happens to be in blush. And the other one, which I think this is very similar, but you get more for your money, um, Nuvo, N-U-V-O, crystal drops. And this one, this one color was the one I used. I think it was... Uh, Neptune turquoise? No, I think it was like Wedgwood blue I had. Well, anyway, there you go. So we are, we got a bunch of these now. We're doing good. Yeah, we're, we're like, we're making progress. Okay, let's make another one. Because we, you know, if you want to mass make some things together, that's always fun. We, we create on mass a bunch of things at one time. So we have them ready to go when we want to use them and altered paper, cl paper clips are like water around here. You really can't go wrong with any of this stuff. It's just what it is. I think I'm going to layer collage that on. I don't know, I just feel like it. Um, there we go. Maybe I'll give that a torn edge too. This is just some, I don't know, it looks like paper bag I played with at some point and just did some stenciling with old uh, dried leaves. Okay, there we go. That's kind of cool. Let's, what else do we have on here? And we have this guy. I think I'll ink him. Have him show up a little more. Get rid of that. And we'll just stick him on here. Okay. So this is just random collaging with the scraps on the desk. It's kind of fun to use everything up. It's a great way at the end of your crafting to just use up those little bits and bobs instead of cleaning them up and throwing them away and all that stuff, you know, that we do sometimes. You know, we'll put that there. It looks like it wants to have a hairy fuzzy at the top. And uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. And uh, so now we have this. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but we have it. It's ours now. Um, and some lucky soul will be the recipient of that baby. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it's kind of fun to be able to play with paper and just goof off. And uh, so here we go. Make a couple more of these. All right, so now I'm seriously looking at my desk, looking at what I can use up. Little bits. Okay, come here. You've got to be able to pick the bit up. All right, come here. All right, here you go. There you are. All right, so what do I have? I have this little edge thing. Well, we can just glue that on there. Let's let's do another collage. This is actually very pretty paper as it is. I'm going to probably make it worse than what it is. I could have left it, but no, no, I have to get in there and muddy the water. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Tear that off. Maybe I'll put two. Hmm. Three. Oh, my hands are getting so gluey. I kind of like it, though. <laughs> All right, so we have that so far. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Um, okay, and I'm now rolling the glue off my, my thumbs and we're trying to have it land on the desk, so I'll clean it later. Okay, bah, ha, ha, we hope. Yeah, I know. No laughing. No laughing. Um, I'm going to wake up my little dauber a little bit. It's going to activate all the the juicy ink on there. Yeah, it helps. There's always a lot of ink hiding in your dauber. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I just changed the whole look of that, didn't I? Yeah, look at that. Now we got this. That's kind of cool. Um, just put some glue here. Here's that little odd thing. It's really a nothing, but we're going to use it. If I can pick it up, we're going to use it. And we got it. Do we get it? We got it. Okay. okay, there we go. What else do we have around here? Some white stuff? Okay. I'll put you here like an L shape. Because you are an L shape. 
Uh -huh. oh, yeah, maybe I will go all the way up. I'm just going to do it. I'm going all the way up. I'm going to move this guy over. I can still move him. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. And I'm going to stay right to the edge. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yep. Get off my finger. Okay. There we go. All right, that's kind of cool. I don't know what it is. Just sort of cool. Looks like a wooden fence or something. Yeah, I know. Who knows how these things actually come out in the end? Nobody really knows. No, no, this is like the mystery of the universe. Um, I think I will put a B on the fence. That's what I'm going to do. And there's the black. And we're going to get a couple more questions. We're going to have our contest. There. Now we have that. Well, this kind of wanted to be on there. Well, let's put it on there. Yeah, you can glue these on there. Why not? This is a gourd pin. It's a pear pin. It's a garment pin. It's a light bulb pin. Whatever you want to call it. It's a pin. But today, it's going to be a little decoration. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Now it's that. Forevermore. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these are like little mini works of art that you can do on um, altered paper clips. They can want, be one simple thing. Or you can do collage designs and things like that just for fun. That's, that's a one simple thing. That's a collage design. we got more collage designs. So we, we have this one too. One is fabric. Oh, they all have like little bits of everything. Very fun. Okay. So let's see. What's another question you got? Uh, Pam, so much enjoy. Okay. This is Celeste Wiles of the Let's Make Scrappy Collage Master Boards from Scraps. So in no so video. Pam, so much to enjoy watching you, as many of us do. Oh, Sonny is adorable and steals the show. What is his breed? He's a Maltese, uh, Korean baby doll face Mar Maltese. I don't know why I always say that, but that's how he was m marketed. <laughs> but it was really, he was a COVID puppy, and um, he was the only one available in my, my area. I didn't have to get on a plane. It wasn't very easy to get on planes then, obviously. So I had to get somebody locally or wait an extremely long time. And I did have to wait three months before I got him. So that was the world's longest three months ever. Um, so thank you, Celeste. Um, Just Me Valerie says, you know what? I realized one of the reasons I enjoy your videos so much is that they are real time, not all edited. So we know how quickly we can complete all the goodies. This is true. I do not edit. Um, it, um, sometimes editing is great, but sometimes it also does throw the actual time off of how long it takes to do something. And um, it's faster for me not to edit. That's, that the, that's the way I can I keep up with making the videos. If I have to stop and edit, it takes a lot of time. I would probably only be able to produce one, maybe two videos a week. I do four instead. So, yeah, there you go. Um, Patty Figurski also says, oh my God, sunshine out. I am rolling off my chair. Um, I, I think we talked about this the other day. That was funny. Um, uh, Christina Clark asks, are you on the beach? I hear what sound like waves. I don't think I'm on the beach. I'm, well, I know right now I'm in my craft room. I can tell you that, Christina Clark. I don't know where I was during these simple additions to any junk journal craft with me video. Probably in my craft room. Oh, it could have been the lawnmower guy going by. It could have been lawnmower guy. That's always a possibility. Okay, so at this point of the game, I think it's time to pick the winner of the ephemera contest for the calligraphy page. Okay, I'm bringing this over. Hang on. Okay. Hang on, let me get the right page up. What am I looking for? Oh. Yeah, it's YouTube random comment picker. Here we go. All right. Dee -de 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 -de. Okay, yep, the comment picker is working today. Here we go. Watch for your name. This is for the prize. Let's see who is it. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Eileen Zielinski, congratulations. You are the grand winner of the calligraphy page um, from Friday, November 17th. Uh, just send me your name and mailing address, and I will mail that off to you. Congratulations, Eileen. Way to go. Yay. And I think it's time now. We have a few words from our canine reporter. Now that he's all, all three years old and everything, he's like, doesn't want to be called a cup up of water anymore. We've had talks about it. Let me, let me tell you. Okay. Okay, here we're going in. 
<clears throat> hello, hello everybody. Sunshine here. K K9 reporter Sunshine here reporting for duty on time at the ready ready to report. I I'm snoring while I'm awake. That is weird, but I'm multi-talented. They flew me in from well, I've never been on a plane. Okay, so they brought me over from my comfy bed. Yes, so I could be here with you to report on the day's events. Okay, we would like to say the Timu guy arrived, dropped off a package. Mother will now proceed to go through the package and then return all the stuff she doesn't want. Yes, it's quite a thing. It happens a lot around here. Then there, I'm not, Mother does not promote Timu. Mother just shops there. Okay. Um, Amazon guy came. Yeah. There were two squirrels in the backyard today. And I let them know that Sunshine was on guard duty. They did not break the perimeter. They did not come in the screen line area. I did my job. Thank you very much. Um, there was chicken today. I can tell you that. It was very small. It was scant. would barely... Like an ant would barely survive on the amount I get. It's ridiculous, I tell you. Um, I am a carnivore. I have canines. I can eat meat, Mom. It's okay. Do you know there are some vegetarian dogs out there, Sunshine? <gasps> what? What? Uh, what has the world come to? I don't understand anymore. I don't understand any of this anymore. Sometimes I just want to go back in my comfy bed and pull the covers over my little head and remember the days when dogs ate meat. <laughs> okay, all right, we're not, we're not going political on this channel, okay? <sighs> okay, <laughs> all right. Anyway, there were squirrels. There was the Amazon guy. Oh, we got that already, thank you. Okay, um, and, um... Okay, so I think we pretty much got covered everything, Mom. Is there anything I forgot? Mm, that you're going to go to the groomer next week? I'm having a look of concern. Groomer? Yep, definite look of concern. You want to go to the spa, sunshine? She says. Hi, concern alert face. Going back to sleep now. All right. Good night, everybody. Talk to you soon. Sunshine out. Okay. Well, he was a little yappy today, wasn't he? All right, so the amazing things that we made, because you guys have the patience of a saint. Oh, okay. Were these little lovelies? And we answered some questions, and we had our ephemera contest. So, there you go. Um, if you don't know, uh, welcome everybody first of all. Thank you for being here and sharing your very precious time. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material, video podcasts available any day of the week on Spotify. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas plus junk journal uh, tips and tricks and updates from me. Uh, the link is down below in the description box. It's free to join. Um, comes out once a month and I have an Etsy shop when I have journals and bundles and kits and fundles and things like that available for sale they will be in there I also sell digi kits which are printable downloadable images there's five pages of multiple images in each digi kit and if you um, don't have a printer or don't like to print I have a print and mail option where you just uh, purchase the print and mail option and then send me the names of 10 digi kits that you want I only need the first two or three words of each digi kit and you can either Etsy message me that list or send it to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com that's my email address and I will print those out on nice lightweight cardstock for you and uh, I will send that off in the mail for free priority mail shipping uh, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the Paper Outpost. I try and put links to them in there in the favorite tools and supplies. And um, it's affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much. And also, um, I have a merchandise shop if you're looking for uh, gifts 
uh, maybe something that says create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Great for gift giving for the holidays or uh, for yourself, family or friends, fellow crafters. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these video ideas. And also, remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.